up everybody going to do this five minute PD video on a great Google extension called speak it just like you do with most of your extensions you're going to click on the apps head over to the web store and search for speak it as you can see I already have it installed on my uh, browser but you can go ahead then and hit add to Chrome and it will be added up here on the top for you, right there. Okay, now I'm gonna jump back over to the same Time Magazine for Kids article I used about the uh, primary in New Hampshire, and I'm gonna use the extension that I uh, tried the last time called Readability to make this nice and simple to read. If you didn't check out Readability, uh, jump onto my video about Readability it makes it look absolutely uh, super easy to read uh, and it makes the articles super easy to read for kids. Now, what Speak It does is it allows me to highlight one entire article or just a section and click the Speak It uh, extension and it will actually read it to me. So here's the voice. On Tuesday. New Hampshire residents cast their votes for their choices for Republican and Democratic presidential nominees. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders won the New Hampshire Democratic primary with 60% of the vote. On the Republican side, businessman Donald Trump won with 35% of the vote. Voter turnout in the primary was unusually high this year. What I like to do is tell the students only to highlight each paragraph because you don't really want the Speak It app to read this section here with the photo caption or the uh, photo credit. So I would just have them highlight a sentence at a time or a paragraph at a time and then have them uh, click that Speak It app. Even if it's just one word that they have a difficult time, they can simply hi uh, highlight one word right here and then hit the Speak It. And that is speaking.